Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saint Tara. I hope everybody's well. Um, sorry, I've been so distant and not really uploading the last few days. Um, it's been a very rough emotional time for me. So um, today actually would have been my ex-husband and I's 12th wedding anniversary. So I'm not going to say it's a low vibe day, but it's a weird vibe day <laughs> for sure. Um, so this evening when I got home from the bread and butter job, my son and I just went to the beach and we swam and we played and we watched the sunset and we had some fast food and we just had a good time and we just had some, some bonding moments and I think that's what I needed to just kind of pull myself out of it, you know, just celebrate the good thing that came out of my marriage, you know, absolute wonderful blessings. Anyway, enough about me. Spirit saying to get up off my ass and read some cards. So that's what I'm doing. It's the weekly top and bottom of the deck. Um, busting out a couple of specials because I put the normal decks to sleep for a few days until the beginning of the new cycle. So we're going to be reading with the wizards and clarifying with the heaven and earth. All right. Without further ado... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Next seven days, please. Eight of Cups upright, Eight of Pentacles reversed. Walking away from something and no longer putting your energy into it at the beginning of the week. Well, okay. It's middle of the week looking like. Seven of Swords reversed, Ace of Cups reversed. Possibly some truths coming out about why something didn't get started. End of the week, Four of Pentacles reversed, Lovers reversed. Letting go of a connection that just did not happen. Okay, well, not a bad energy. Just throwing that out there. All right, clarity. Real quick, clarity. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, next seven days. I'm going to shuffle these as hard because this is just the ones that we send flying, so... Clarity for the Eight of Cups upright, Eight of Pentacles reverse. One card. Try not to shake the bed. Oh. Five of Swords. Five of Swords in the reverse. Defeat. Possibly could be feeling a little bit defeated at the beginning of the week because you're moving on. Not throwing your energy into it. That, that that could be an energy to feed. I'll put one more on it. That's a rough Monday. Possibly a rough Tuesday, too. It depends upright. Here's the good thing. You're throwing your energy into other shit, okay? You're concentrating on you. That's fine. That will bring you out of this energy of defeat. Okay. Just work on you. All right, my seven of swords reversed, eight of cups reversed here. Hi, star reversed. I don't like it. I don't like it. That's lack of healing. That's fighting a healing process. And that's pouring salt in a wound. You're not supposed to get over this kind of stuff in a couple of days, okay, guys? Three pentacles reversed. Things coming to light. But why something did not get started. Why it did not come together. Salt in the wound. Mm. 
Knight of Swords. Oh, really? Hmm. Could have been some outside source. Or perhaps... Mm, I, I don't want to accuse anybody of stalking, but... If you don't want to know the information, don't go with stalking. I'm just saying. It's one thing if it comes about from an outside party. There is a Three of Pentacles there, but... Nah. Nah. Judgment reversed, bearing the connection, making the final judgment call. All right. Leading us to the end of the week. Why the Four of Pentacles, lovers reversed. King of Cups reversed. King of Pentacles reversed. Do not let this steal your self-worth. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. So it didn't work out. It's okay. Don't let it take don't let it suck away your self-worth. Don't let it prevent you from taking somebody else's cup. Five of Pentacles reversed again. Oh, that's the five. Four of Pentacles reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed. Yes, you're gonna miss this person. But it may be coming time to release it and let it go. But don't don't emotionally close yourself off to all things forever and don't let it take your self-worth. Absolutely not. I don't like that energy at all. Some advice for you. Three of Cups. We'll reverse the moon. Nobody knows what the future has to hold. No. Nobody knows what the future has to hold. Why the world reversed? Three off the top. Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups, Two of Wands reversed. I feel like if you fail to let this go, not knowing what the future has to hold for you. If you if you hang on to this, something new and wonderful can't come to you. I think you need to... I'm not going to say go out and party like a rock star. I would never tell anybody to do that. But just don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Okay, so this one didn't work out. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't mean the next one's not going to work out. So don't put yourself in that self-defeating energy. Okay? All right. Three off here. We'll call it a day. For my earth sign friends. Justice. Five of cups reversed. Empress reversed. Princess of Pentacles, King of Wands, Eight of Wands reversed. <clears throat> Again, exactly. Don't get yourself all in the dumps because something didn't grow. This just just this justice card is telling me that balance is going to be restored. But you, there's something you need to cut out of your life. It's something that has come to an end. Don't go full steam ahead into something new right away, but take your time. Take your time and learn what you need to learn from this. Take away what you're supposed to take away and let go what you're supposed to let go. Okay? Don't take the emotional crap baggage out of this into your next connection. Because that's just not a good thing to do. Don't take old baggage into new connections because that's why new connections don't work because you end up in that same defeating, repeating pattern. Okay. <clears throat> that's what I got for your earth sign, friends. All right. Air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
Next seven days, please. Give him a good shuffle. I don't know who's pinging me right now. I'm not paying attention to it. Nope. Not paying attention. Three of Wands reversed and the Lovers. Ooh. That's interesting. Gemini, that is your card. Aquarius, the star just showed up. The King of Pentacles. In the middle of the week. Five of Pentacles reversed. Four of Pentacles upright by the end of the week. Okay. Okay. Well. Sorry, Libra, you haven't shown up yet, but we'll see what the other deck has to say. I think your wait might be over. Huh? Some of you may have a divine connection coming in at the beginning of the week. Like, wishes fulfilled, dreams come true. The catch. You find out this is the catch. This is the one you've been waiting for. Really? I'm not paying attention to my phone right now. Five of Pentacles reversed, four of Pentacles upright at the end of the week. I don't know how I feel about that. Coming out of the cold, but letting something go. All right. All right, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. I need clarity. Let's get some clarity from our Earth's air sign friends, please. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A little bit of clarity. All right. What's up with this three of wands reverse lovers? Give me one. Hit me one time. Hi. Seven of wands. Boom. I like it. I like it. I like it. And the empress. Yup. This is amazing. This is you finally declaring victory over something that's going on internally for a while. This is finally something with a chance for growth. Hey now. Don't everybody talk all at once. Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Cups reversed. But, 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 but. This is an air of caution. Take things slow. Take things slow. Don't misstep the path. I'm hearing don't misstep the path. Seven of cups reversed. Wait, that's a nine. I always mix the seven and the nine up in this deck. I am so sorry. That is the nine of cups reversed. Yes. Take things slow. Don't get too emotionally involved too soon. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Why is the star star here? Star King of Pentacles. Why the star King of Pentacles? That felt like advice. Some of you may get a little too emotional too quick. Princess of Wands. Six of Cups reversed. The magician. Mm-hmm. That's extremely interesting. <laughs> I 
You always get what you ask for when you don't want it anymore. That's how this feels. Message coming in possibly from a fire sign. Someone you may have some salty feelings for. Someone that you called in. It's retrograde pre shadow. Just go with it. Hi, who are you? Ha 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 ha. Five of swords. Yeah, that, that feels like somebody coming back. Could be an air sign, could be a fire sign. Maybe water. Someone you viewed as the catch, though. Huh. Okay. Maybe that's why you're being cautioned to not move too, get too emotional too quickly. Take things slow. Take things slow. With whatever's starting at the beginning of the week, you have something coming back, trying to manifest. Why the Five of Pentacles reversed, Four of Pentacles upright at the end of the week? Two of Pentacles! That's a choice. I wouldn't lie to you. Two of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles. Strength reversed. And two of swords. Oh, snap. Don't know how I feel about that. Could be a little bit of a draining decision at the end of the week, whether you want to let somebody in out of the cold or not. Whether you want to open up that door. Because you have something fabulous and wonderful coming in at the beginning of the week, and then something throws a wrench in some plans at the middle of the week. That's how the universe works sometimes, though. Just throwing that out there. One more card on this. We're going to call it. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This is telling me... Okay, so... Which one falls in line with what I want out of life? That's the question you got to ask yourself. Which path leads me to the big brick house with the white picket fence and 2.5 kids and the dog and the pool and the wraparound porch? Which person am I going to be sitting there on a porch swing when I'm 60 holding hands with? Know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a question you got to ask yourself. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups. Tower reversed, World, Three of Cups reversed. Moon reversed, World, Three of Cups reversed. This is telling me, proceed with caution, putting your energy into this new love, and this old love illuminated some stuff, and it closed out for a reason. Three of Cups reversed. World. Moon reversed. Be mindful when making that decision in regard to this Ten of Pentacles, friends, was the other deck got to say. Nine of Wands, Seven Pentacles, Nine of Swords reversed. Take your time. Don't get all anxious. Wounded Warrior got plenty of time. Take that time because the Wounded Warrior is still healing. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Devil Reversed. 
disconnect from th those old toxic things and let them go and allow a new cycle to begin. Okay. Enough said with that, air sign friends. Libra, I apologize that justice did not come out. Maybe next time. Of course, you know, justice isn't, isn't always a so fun card, but when it means balance, it's very positive. It's when it means other things that it's not so positive. Okay, water sign friends. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <laughs> Just work. Yeah, I had to check it. I'm sorry. It's kind of funny. My boss watches these videos, so I probably shouldn't say pfft. Love you. <laughs> I know you're watching, so. I'll deal with it later. I'm reading cards. She gives me shit all the time. Blows up my phone at midnight. What did you mean by this in this reading? Um, Shoot me a call. I'll spell it out for you. <laughs> Always fun when she does that. Anyway, she just happens to be a Scorpio, so... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shovel for your next seven days. Empress, Nine of Swords, reversed. First thing I'm thinking is pregnancy scare. <laughs> Some of you might have pregnancy scare at the beginning of the week. If it's yours, take it. If it's not, leave it. It could be coming out of anxiety with a family issue or something. Whether or not something is going to grow. We'll clarify on it in a second. World reverse. Three of swords at the middle of the week. Oh, gosh. Oh, that feels like opening up an old wound. That feels like retrograde coming back to haunt somebody. I don't know. Again, we'll get clarity. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Sun reversed. You are no longer going to throw energy into things that do not make you happy. Okay. Excellent. Let's get some clarity. It's like 83 when we were at the beach. Okay. Why Empress, three of swords, nine of swords reversed. Tower. Sudden change for somebody. <laughs> kind of brings me back to that. It could be possibly a pregnancy scare thing. Might not just be a scare for some of you, but either way, you come out of the anxiety about it. Let's throw another card on that. It's not quite so case-specific. It's a life-changing event. We'll just put it to you that way. It could be catastrophic. Could could just be a game-changer. So, one more. One more. Three cups reversed. Three cups reversed. Disconnect for whatever reason. Could be spats with friends, spats with a family member. Coming out of a state of anxiety about something anyway. Sometimes you're just super anxious until it's over and done and then you're not anxious anymore. So, moving on. World reversed, three of swords. What's up with that? Death reversed. Something you thought was dead. Sun reversed. You're not too thrilled about it coming back. Page of Cups reversed. 
Not handing the cup back. Not taking the cup either. I think you might block communication with this person. It's like you just kind of slide when the message comes through. You, you slide it across. Pretend you didn't see it, but you know you saw it. They just don't know you saw it. I do that to people all the time. I'm kind of shitty like that. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. This could cause a little bit of anxiety. I wouldn't let it, though. We'll get your advice in a minute. Why the Eight of Pentacles reversed on reversed at the end of the week? Wheel of Fortune reversed. Eight of Cups, you're moving on. You're moving on. Not putting your energy into something that does not make you happy. You are moving on. Six of Cups, you are taking the happy memories with you, but you are allowing this to be unfinished. I never recommend doing that, but, you know, sometimes the universe... We are not entitled to closure. We're not. We can create our own closure, but we shouldn't always expect it from the other party. Just throwing that out there. So if you decide to leave something unclosed, or, you know, n not close something out, okay. No judgment here. You want to lay there with that wound open, go, go ahead. Go ahead. But you can close it out for yourself. You just, you know, don't necessarily have to do it for the other person. Five of Swords are first. Reversed defeat. Someone will be left defeated at the end of the day. End of the week. All right. All right, let's get some advice. Wheel of Fortune reversed, Hangman, Four of Pentacles. Create your own closure. Don't stay hung up on it. Release it, let it go. Create your own closure. That doesn't mean you have to close it out for the other person. You can close it out for yourself. It means you don't have to deal with them if you don't want to. That would be what I would take out of that. Chariot, Three of Cups, Knight of Cups reversed. Yeah, I would not engage with this person. I would just hop in that chariot, move forward on your path. <laughs> have fun, make new connections with new people and if you don't want to engage with this person if you don't want to take their cup you don't have to. How about that? Okay? If you don't want to take it, you don't have to. If it's going to cause anxiety, don't do it. Oh my god, speaking of anxiety, the Nine of Swords came out. the world, the king of cups, and the nine of swords. Do not let it consume you. Okay, how do I put this? Don't let this return consume you. Okay? Don't let someone else's emotions screw with yours. Or lack thereof. Okay? You are in control of your own emotions and your own emotional well-being. The Hierophant, the Empress reversed. The High Priestess reversed. The 
There's a lesson in this. There is a lesson in this and why it did why it did not grow. And when it is meant to be illuminated to you, it will be. But don't dwell on it. You need to pick up and you need to dust off and you need to move on. Okay? Whoever that was for. We don't always get the answers that we demand right away. It's not how the universe works. Sometimes you have those light bulb movements days or weeks or months or even years down the road. Like when you bump into them at the store or at the nightclub, you see them years later and you're like, why was I into that? I don't know. Why were you? It's a light bulb moment. Okay. Anyway. That was it for you, water signs. Hope you took something out of it. Fire signs, arrows, Leo, Sagittarius. Fire! Next seven days, please. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, next seven days. One more good one for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Death reversed. Seven of Cups reversed. Oh, snap. Queen of Wands upright, Page of Cups upright. Okay. Knight of Cups reversed, Ace of Cups. There's a lot of cups on this table right now, Fire Signs. Some of you may be dealing with a water sign, just saying. Queen of Wands showed up in the middle of the week. That's y'all, by the way. A Scorpio card up top, so it could be Scorpio. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio or someone with Scorpio in their chart. God, that's a lot of water. That's like a drowning level of water. Very emotional week. I'm feeling very emotional for some of you. Starting out with some confusion. Some confusion... A death cycle that's not taking place. Somebody's fighting a death cycle, perhaps. There's confusion. I think somebody doesn't know if they want something or not. This is like a super fiery death card, too. This is probably one of the one of my favorite death cards. Just saying, but it's in the reverse. Still, I love this. I'm digging it. I really am. That is embracing change, if I've ever seen it. Let me tell you. And that's all death is. It's change. It's transformation. All right, let's get it going for you, fire. Why is this death reversed, seven of cups reversed here? Why death reversed, seven of cups reversed? Ten of pentacles reversed. Oh, wow. Some, some of y'all could feel like this is going to put you in the poorhouse. And this might affect you financially. Full reverse. Not trusting somebody. Knight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Some of y'all may have rushed into something too quickly and you kind of come to the conclusion that maybe you should have taken your time. Throw one more on that. We'll go down in the middle of the week. Okay. 
strife reversed ten of swords just allowing something to process trying to avoid conflict all right why is the queen of wands page of cups middle of the week i like it i like it Ace of Pentacles reversed, Hermit reversed, Five of Swords. This is how you turn a positive thing into a negative thing, Fire Signs. Why are you allowing yourselves to be defeated? Why are you closing yourself off to a beautiful thing and allowing yourself to be defeated? One more. Queen of Wands knows what she wants. She goes after it. She gets it. Page of Swords. That's hesitation. <clears throat> I want you to see this how I see it. Okay? See this how I see it. There's that... There's that Princess of Swords. And that little Page of Cups. And they can see each other, but there's all this BS in between them. This self-defeat and this hermit reversed and this ace of pentacles reversed. And this can be so beautiful and so wonderful, yet there's so much BS between you. Is that self-defeating energy? Is that not wanting to go down the rabbit hole, not wanting to start something new? Strength holding back. Okay. Why are we holding back? High Priestess, Three of Wands. Okay. Well, that's a good enough reason to hold back. Some of you are having this intuitive thing that maybe you should. If your intuition is telling you to wait, absolutely you wait. But don't wait because it's self-defeating energy. Absolutely not. Don't do that. Don't allow the manifestation of an ending before something even starts. Knight of Cups reversed, Ace of Cups. Tell me more. The Moon. Eight of Swords. Shaking the camera again. People are going to be getting seasick. Five of Pentacles. The universe is handing you a cup. You're not taking it. Too many unknowns, anxiety, five of pentacles. You're afraid you're going to get left out in the cold. One more. Eight of pentacles. Knight of wands, ten of cups. Why the Knight of Wands? Two of Swords reversed. Oh, do I or don't I? Do I or don't I? I'm hearing that some, for some of you, the person you're dealing with may have a little bit of reputation. And that's what has you so anxious. Maybe you've dealt with this person before. Maybe they've ghosted in the past. And that's why this is a difficult decision. Whether or not to take the cup. No one knows what the future has to hold. Not even me. Okay? But don't get all up in your head in a cage of your own thoughts over what ifs. What if? What if? What if it doesn't work out? Well, what if it does? 
What if it does? What are you out if it doesn't work out? You're not out anything. You're no worse off than you are right now. But that's just me. Okay. I'll take off of this one first. Wheel of Fortune, Hanged Man, Ten of Pentacles. Do not allow something that did not work out in your favor in the past to hold you up from achieving your goal. Two of Cups reversed, Six of Swords, Justice. Sometimes... The universe cuts things out of our lives and has things not work out for our benefit to restore balance in our lives. Sometimes when things don't work out, it is the universe's way of protecting us. So that's really nothing to shake an ugly stick at, okay? Queen of Cups reversed. Justice, Three of Swords. What did I just say? What did I just say? I don't want to say that karma is pain. Or pain is karma. I, I don't want to put this that way. I really don't. Sometimes we're meant to feel things. And that was the intention. Because that's what we're supposed to learn. If that makes sense to anybody. Because sometimes pain helps us grow. It sucks, but it is what it is. So you can't not allow yourself to feel that pain. You can't ignore the emotions that go along with it because then you don't learn your lesson and you end up repeating the same vicious cycle over and over again. Okay. Nine of Swords, Temperance, Star Reversed. Again, I, I'm done throwing cards on this because they keep saying the same damn thing. Don't get all excited because you didn't get your wish. You need to be a little bit more patient with yourself and patient with the universe. Because the universe has better things for you. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Know that you loved. Be blessed. And I'll see you in about seven days for your next weekly top and bottom. Love you. Take care.